I'm very all different emotions. So I get very erratic behavior. I get irritated very, very quickly. Um, I feel like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an angry person, but if I am pushed, pushed, pushed to my absolute pinnacle, then I can, I can snap, you know, but it's, oh, it's so difficult because it's not me. And I know that it's not me. I know it's the PMDD, but, but oh, it's so, it, yeah, it's so difficult. So I just get really exhausted. My whole body aches from head to toe, you know, and some days I literally just, I'm so exhausted. I can't like, I can't keep my eyes open and I just think, oh my God, I'm so lethargic. I literally can't move. And then what I find as well, like, you know, and it can, it's sad really, because it can be quite dangerous. So like your concentration levels aren't on point because your brain is just completely fried and scrambled. Like, you know, you do have to be careful, like when, like when you're driving, if I'm having a bad PMDD day and I'm driving, you know, you ra you really do have to be vigilant. Like you have to, like, because you just, you're not, you're not there. It's so, it's like, and I know that sounds whatever, but yeah, it's scary. It's really, it's really, really scary. And then, you know, just day day to day stuff it's like it's a chore and it's it's it shouldn't be like that psychologist gareth he said and he told he told me i had pmdd i had a good i had really good sessions with our gareth um but he said we need to call this silly voice in your head a name and we need to tell it to go away and so we call we call her Janice. Janice hasn't shown herself now. Well, I'm due on in a couple of weeks. So again, it will be another. It will be a longer test with the double with the double um twenty mg isotalopram. So fingers crossed. But honestly. I don't know. If, oh, I honestly don't know how I would have carried on without this medication. I wouldn't be here. Let's just put it that way. I was driving, and I felt I just felt like there was no way out, and I just. I just wanted to open the car door and just let fate take its course. I just didn't want to be here. Yeah, I'd so had enough. And then, you know, having to, like I, told, I, like, I did tell my dad. And, you know, I think he, you know, and it was just so sad. I no one should ever ever have to feel like that. But I uh, yeah, that was like yeah, that was that that was that was the lo that was definitely the lowest point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really tricky with relationships because uh, obviously so I'm obviously talking pre-medication. So because I just feel like There what years ago there just wasn't enough information regarding PMDD. There wasn't enough research. There wasn't enough resources to, which is why you just sort of get fobbed off with the you know just PMS and depressive situation. Um, but yeah, my part like my partners they just did, they just didn't get it. They just didn't get it. And it was so hard for them because they'd be like, they thought I was like bipolar or 
crazy or something. <laughs> so, but again, them, them seeing me like it, like it was, it was hard, and it's, it's stressful to live with. It's hard enough for me to live you know, to live with it, let alone somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you just feel, oh, you you feel like, like they would be better off without you. And you just, you're insecure and you, you're panicking. And then people walk on eggshells around you because they don't want to say something to upset you. So honestly, oh, it's it's a really, 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 hard place to be in I cannot explain to you but now it's just now it's just it's just PMDD horrible 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 PMDD yeah I was really panicking because like as much as they prepare you know as much as they try and prepare you for you know what you know how the journey is going to be and the cameras and the filming you genuinely do not know what it's like until you are in it. Oh, and even then I could I couldn't even describe it to you now, but you know, you're you're putting you're trusting these people, you know, you are trusting these people with your life and because I wear my heart on my sleeve anyway, I I give everything 110%. So, you know, and I was just obviously I didn't have I obviously didn't have the tablets then but I I did really really struggle on my PMDD days because you know we'd be we'd be filming and obviously I wanted to make the best out of the situation with Kieran and everybody else but I was just, it knocked me for six it really, really knocked me for six, and I was, I was, I was just so emotional. Oh my god! Even watching myself back now, like crikey, I didn't realize how emotional I was because, that, like, it makes me cringe. It makes me cringe now watching myself cry on there because. Like, I'm just not that person anymore. And because, obviously, I wasn't on medication on the show, I think it, that like, honestly, the medication has, it has, it's, it's changed my whole life. And I just think I was just so, you know, I always thought that I was a, you know, a confident girl, but crikey, when I had my PMDD days, ugh. Yeah, I, I was not, I was a shell of myself. I really, really lost myself. And I thought, God, poor Kieran, do you know what I mean? But he was just, oh, he was just absolutely incredible. But yeah, with the long days of filming, I was just really, really, I was just so tired.